The following content is provided under a Creative Commons license. Your support will help MIT OpenCourseWare continue to offer high-quality educational resources for free. To make a donation or view additional materials from hundreds of MIT courses, visit MIT OpenCourseWare at ocw.mit.edu. Some content in this audio lecture is not covered under our Creative Commons license. Please listen to the end credits for more information. Okay. All right. Uh, so today's reading was uh, the MDA paper by uh, Robert Hudike, Robert Zubek, and uh, Mark LeBlanc, and uh, it's pretty. Uh, I, I hope you found it pretty light reading because it was intended to be pretty light, and uh, the whole point of it was that we will be uh, getting through this pretty quickly today, so that you have time to sit with your teams, talk about your project, work on it a little bit, all the prototyping but materials in front are going to be. Uh, uh, Putting the table, the boxes on on the tables. Are you more or less seated on your teams right now? <coughs> more or less. Okay. Is every team represented. Let's see. You are the building team. You guys are the which? The the, the, the <coughs> different building team. <laughs> right. The Lego building team. Okay. That's, which team is that? Uh, the, the what? The hidden, the hidden information team. Thievery. The thievery, uh, st stealing stuff and. The path uh, path oh, yeah, and the path building. Okay, all right. So, yeah. all right, cool. All, 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 all five are here. Great. Well, ho hopefully, you'll be able to like make a little bit of progress on your teams, uh, on your projects. So, uh, who managed to like play a little bit more of the games? Uh, whether it was the prototype that you played on Wednesday, or whether it was something else that you developed along the way, who managed to actually get get some playing done? Okay, a few people. Who did you play it with? Um, so we just went back to the drawing board and redid new games. Okay. Exploring. Um, so we just played amongst ourselves. Among yourselves, okay. And, and who did you play with? Just different people in the room. Okay. Uh, door, door baits, basically, right? <coughs> okay. Anyone else? Did anyone else do it? Yep. I mean, we, we went through a couple more iterations. Just within your team? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Um, what did you. <coughs> Did, did you play an iteration that you didn't develop yourself? Did, did anyone, I mean, it's like, if you played within your team, obviously, you know, you, you, okay, so, so, so if you played a version that you had to develop yourself, or if you played it with other people who, who, who weren't developing the game with you, how do you, f what were some of the things that you felt, uh, that, 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 that you felt about the game, or what, or what did people say about your game? Once the game was done, what 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 did people seem to like or not like about it? What was some of like the gut things that you were saying? It didn't end. It didn't end. Okay. <laughs> All right. <coughs> what else? I mean, think it, it could have been negative feedback. It, it, it could it could have been wow, this is terrible because blah. What was the blah? It, or it could have been wow, that was kind of cool because of blah. Nothing. No one gave you any feedback. They just kind of sat there, impassively. Why are you making us play this? Uh, <laughs> okay. Well, I was hoping that that was a uh, segue into a little bit talk uh, into a little talk about aesthetics. Actually, uh, maybe what I'll do then is uh, I'm gonna make you play a game, uh, a short game, the 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 game that you were seeing earlier. Who's played it before? Yeah, Oasis. Uh, o o also known as Defense of the Oasis, of the US, yeah. which is easily confused with Dota, but uh, it's not Dota. Uh, all right. Um, if somebody would like to volunteer to play through an early, easy le level, wow, that's a lot. Of you know what? Well, well you, you all get a chance to play through one round because each round is pretty fast. So we'll start with, with you and then we'll go on, okay? And then everybody else pay attention because I guess he's play, pretty much playing to the tutorial <coughs> level. Okay. So it's, uh, this was originally the, the designed for the PC. It was actually one of the, um, Same it, yeah. it came out roughly, you can just go ahead and play. It came out roughly about the same time as casual games, downloadable casual games started picking up on, uh, on, on, on the market. This was, I don't think this was ever sold as a box product, or, it, or if it was, 
that really wasn't the point of its uh, business model. So you you click around. <laughs> Let's keep walking. Already searched. Hello. Tap it again. Already searched. You should do something clever. So no notice our turrets are going down. Big shiny thing. How do we increase population? <laughs> Yay. Oh, that's out. Look, no, 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 this, this guy is down there. I am a flashy dude. Oh, hey, hello, people. So this, this actually turns out not to be the tutorial level. This just turns out to be the first level. Uh, the way most people play. Why you? That's true. People don't like playing tutorials, it's true. So are you supposed to find these four technologies? The barbarians in here? Why are they? No, they're not. You have uh, 22 turns to about two, <coughs> two barbarian hordes arriving. So basically, movements is turns, and I'm just walking. Yeah. Hello, people. If you, if you walk to an area, you already discovered that's going to burn a turn. Oh, I did something clever. Okay. I don't know what I did. Just when you search. One turn. I don't know what to do. I'll just walk here and watch things go bad. My barriers are coming. Tap to a city to move troops there. Uh, move here. Yay, 94 people. Can I move other people? Try. Try. No more troops. No more troops. No more troops. We all gonna die. 332? Oh, snap. So, I thought this was supposed to be me learning how to play. <laughs> yeah, you're learning. Feel the learning. <laughs> <laughs> can you use your technology? Yeah, can you, can you use it? I'm tapping on technology. I'm tapping catapults. I'm tapping spears. I'm giving it all my love, and it's not doing anything. I think I won. <laughs> Come on, Matthew, you got this. Kill that. Boom! What did they do? Oh, snap. What? Saw it. What? <laughs> you win! Okay, so you did in fact complete the level, but you're probably fairly befuddled about what happened here. How are you? How, how, how do you feel about, uh, at the end of that level? Right now. Um, like, I'm good at touching squares, but that doesn't mean much. Like, all I knew was if I found cities, I'd tap them again and I could search. Okay. That's about all I found. Okay. Uh, that's, 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 that's what you figured out about the rules, yeah. but and how do you personally feel about this game right now? Um, I mean, granted, you, know, you only play one, one, one level and clearly the game goes on. I feel like it's somewhat impossible to control the ending situation because I have no way of determining or upgrading my population. Okay. All right. So it feels like things are out of your control right now. Yeah, or like I have no influence, and so I'm just one dude exploring the map. Okay, so 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 lack of l lack of influence. Yeah. yeah. Lack of influence, or possibly lack of control, something like that. All right. So the next person. Uh, we are, we are going for right and left. So so so. You're next. You're gonna play le le level two, taking in everything that you've seen so far. Oh crap! <laughs> <laughs> purple area to explore. So tap the X. Okay. Anyone has any ideas about what he should be doing? Go ahead and say so. He doesn't have to play this on his own. I'm doing this. <laughs> <laughs> I want to discover every square. Just go to the question mark. Of course, you know, double tap cities. Oh, oh double tap cities? Yeah, so tap them again, you'll search them. Ta da! Oh, you got that. Was that good? Axe? Yeah. That's probably good, I don't know what the axe does. That's fine. Go to the question. <laughs> <laughs> he'll get there, he'll get there. 
Should I go straight to the question yeah. mark? Yeah, yeah that's you right. Can. Try it. Yes. No, it's, it's but then I'm going to cut off myself and waste turns. Uh, no, 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 because every movement around, uh, is one turn no matter how far apart it is. Uh, oh, really? Okay. Yeah. So if you no. Go up right and you can't do it in one turn straight. You have to go one purple square at a time. Yeah, but I'm saying I want to discover all the squares without moving yeah, more so than twice. It, you're going to waste no one turn for a square you discover anyway, so yeah, it doesn't matter what order you discover. Oh, okay. You don't use a turn if you're not discovering. Oh, look at that. Discover right beneath it. That mountain does something. I don't know what it does, but it gives you 10 people. Hey, what what people. do people think that does? Wait, when he put 20 people, when, 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 when he clicked on the mine, what, what do you think happened? It's I, not I, about 20 people. I think it's the population. They're the miners in and they mined up the technologies. Okay. Go, go right ahead. Do whatever you... Uh, you can put in a lot of people. I don't know you're, if, you're, if, you're if it's good or bad. I waste turns. Not that many. Well, clearly it's valuable. <coughs> <coughs> what else do you need people for at this stage? Yeah, I keep running around. Well, yeah. See, look, it's now still one turn. Wait, do I lose follower if I do that? Yeah, uh, like, you're like the best like team or something. You're in best, yeah. yeah, I do. Ooh, but I got something. I got archery. I like archery. Clearly because you put enough people. Bows increase your chance of inflicting damage on the barbarians. Good. Okay. Keep doing that stuff. I wonder, it looks like there's... Ooh, I'm huge. Yeah. Sign up. Hey, like double tap the city. Always so submit the city again. Followers. Ta-da! Look at that. I don't know what that means, but you found another technology. It looks like... A chance of I have no idea what to think. Oh, helmets! Like oh, another city. Greetings. If at least two cities survive, I will join your cause. That means this is supposed to be a campaign game and last over long periods of time. What's that thing right there? I don't know. I what know. thing? Oh, the tent-looking thing? Tent yeah, you can't double-click it, so you just waste Over there? two turns. Damn it! No, oh, good! Another yeah. city! Bottom up is probably the How do you add people? Your staff? Damn it, I should have searched more. <laughs> Everyone else is following, not even us. Oh, look, that thing, I don't even have people to it. Oh, you got more technology than I did. Very nice. Hey, bear, 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 Put your troops the in the city. Put your troops in the city. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's right, wrong order. Oh, wrong. Oh, so you're about to get the Is that the path that they're going to yeah. take? Two, yeah. might, two might survive. Because he's defending his second last city, he just needs two to survive. <coughs> Thirty are going to die. Oh, they survived some fatal oh, blows. Helmets are falling off. Right, here we go. Yes. Let's do it. Go, yes. go, 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 yes. go, go. Oh, what? Boo! Should not put so many people in the mines. Oh! Oh! She oh. oh. survived. What? Yeah. So, how do you feel about that? I feel awesome, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> but I have no idea what happens. Okay. The greater the number of cities that are connected together by roads, the faster they all grow. That dude built roads, and we don't know how. Maybe. Wait, did he actually? Yeah, he had roads before. Did he? Yeah, you saw it light up and connect. All those things were basically roads. You have the dudes moving along it. His population increased in size. Our population has yet to increase in size. I, I think I think I think you 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 mean before yeah. class started? Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Team, dude. Yeah. Okay, so what you feel two? awesome, but you're yeah, still not sure what. Still don't know what's going on. I, I do know that exploring is very good. Okay, so figured that one out. So that's some sort of like exploring. Got no points though. What's that about? It's good or something. I got zero points. Nice. Okay. Okay. Still. That's that's that, that's still a lot of confusion going on. Okay. All right. All right, next, okay, next, 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 happy. Go ahead, Yoda. It's happy confused. Well, my score is zero. No, it says no, Alice no, no, not no. found no points. Teamwork. Oh, so so All right, figure yeah, out how to build like roads. The water, the staff, or something. Sorry, but didn't it come out of the end? Yeah, yeah, we don't know how. Oh yeah. Oh, what? Plus twenty starting villagers. That's huge. Damn, mother said that we use the bomb. Hey, perfect. Click it again. Always doubles have a city. That did nothing. <coughs> Mines? Get that tech. Maybe do it again. Care. What are those two temple mounts? Do you want to check that out? Temple mounts. Oh. Guys, so I think I figured out the mines. At the bottom, that's like it's how you're fast digging to uh, Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, so you want to increase mines. So you, you put more faster, people in mines. Yeah. Is it like a multiplier? Yeah. If you have 20 people, it'll go like 
works. Oh, I guess that's how it works. Okay. Do you know about? Do you want to finish? Like get the so the orbs, I don't know. I just know. If you want to find the oasis? Then the did you search your city by the way? Oh, you're building a road. How'd you do that? How do you build a road? You just click on you the need tile. Followers. Oh, you need followers. It costs you followers to do so. Oh, okay. Get more followers and build roads later. What do followers do? Can you so get the roads? They allow you to build roads. Build roads. You also put them inside the mines. So Last you have multiple so options that you can do with your followers. Did you ever search your upper city? Where you have 46 people now and the population is so increasing? So, points. On That's the first level, finding the whole river. What am I saying? The whole lake. Uh, yeah, the whole lake gave something. you the letter O. So. Finish the lake. Hey, look at that. Now we gotta do it every level. <laughs> it's like pinball. <laughs> the other question yeah, mark. Yeah, there's the option. Yeah, go to the other question mark. Oh, yeah, Get more cities. Yeah. By the way, that looks like a pathway through. Oh, perfect. You have a new mine, you have a new population. You have now a road going downward. Helmets! Don't forget to uh, put men into that mine. Line. You have 20 turns. In there's a mine by the 51 city. Increase. Alright, you are just made it. Nice. Did you search that search city? city. Alright, you're two followers in the mine. That probably won't do too much. <laughs> You've yet to find. Oh, good. You found one of the upper symbols. Because clearly those upper symbols are useful. Yeah, we There's don't know what they're for. I'm looking for. Oh, it's like, uh, uh, it's either it's in the bottom right or the top left, and you only have 11 turns, so you can probably pick one of them. Bottom right. I think it's up here. He's going top right. These are farmlands. No. Wait, no. Keep looking. You might as well. I can check in the bottom right still. Yeah. Alright, if you want to do it. Bam! Bam. <laughs> Brilliant. Ooh. Don't get nice. it. Just search it again. Hit it again. Wait. Yes. Woo! 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 Right. Well, there's one more city, actually. Uh, uh, do you have enough followers there? Sure. Keep sure. walking. Here it is. Oh, it's all these wow. since the top. All three! Now can you connect roads in time? You have two turns, probably no. not. No. <laughs> no. Wait, how do you um, know? How about for the last two turns, put your followers into yeah, line just and see if you can get the last technology? Empty tile. It's there it's five I, I don't think I'll have enough to do that. Time to do that. Okay, but you didn't get the last technology. The barriers are coming. Um, are this, are this put your troops people somewhere. on them stronger? Are the cities attacking them stronger? I don't know. Put the troops oh, on one of them to find out. So. There you go. So all your troops are on them. Beautiful. <laughs> you made it. You got Keep it. Putting everyone in the city. Yes. <laughs> oh, oh you, told, you totally got it. Yay. Oh, oh God, God the first, first <laughs> list. Good. Save well, as many cities as possible. You need more technology, dude. The guy before you had also the catapults and the thing after it. Whatever. Now yeah, just the catapults. No, actually, you should say the other. Oh, you're doing but I think I'm well. Yeah, I think I'm doing like every so single well. city. Yay! <laughs> Boom. How do you feel about that? I, I feel like I won the level. <laughs> you feel like so so that's like how, how like. He built roads. I, I saved all the cities. Okay, so so you feel so you feel like 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 you like you <laughs> saved everything. Yes. Salvation. What, what was there a fourth volunteer? I thought yeah. I saw four heads. You wanna try it one more time?
electricities are not quickly, but your technology is strong. You're just jumping all over the place. Barbarians in 10 turns. Long technology. Quick. See, he's getting like two followers. There's some recovery down there. But when you have some recovery, that's the other thing. He's getting at least twice as many followers per turn. Oh, snap. I'm putting one of your cities. Oh, you discovered all the cities there. Pick a city. Dumbo, Dumbo, so choose the upper right or bottom left? Just upper right or upper left. We're in the two hundred twenty units. That's very nice. <clears throat> nice. You got at least three technology. No one's ever reached this technology. Ooh, wrong direction. <laughs> oh, last <city. coughs> Whoops. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. We have faith in you. This looks good. Hey, you still have points? Yeah. Cool. Thanks. Well, well, I think it's showing show you how the points are added. Oh, did I get a non-zero oh. score? Oh, yeah. Cool. So, so how was that road? It was fun. Um, I wish that I could see, I, I think there was a way to see which city, which city they would attack first, mm -hmm. but I didn't know what it was. Okay. I forgot. And also, like, I feel like it's sort of pointless that you have to click on a city again to explore it. It's mm -hmm. like I always want to explore it, mm -hmm. as far as I can tell. Okay. All right. So, 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 you feel that there are some there's some redundancy going on. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. So, all right. Cool. Thank, thank, thank you very much. So, these are kinds of the things that as players, you know, the sensations that you get, right? You know, uh, you get kind of like the joy of exploring, uh, you know, finding out new things, pushing back the fog. Uh, at the beginning of learning a game, you know, there's confusion, there's befuddlement, you don't actually know how your actions are, you know, changing things. But if you play a lot of games, you're usually sort of primed to sort of accept a little bit of that and sometimes it's it's balanced well enough that it sort of intrigues you rather than, you know, puts you off. But sometimes it just puts you off. Um, uh, someone said that it was, uh, it felt good to save people, you know. Uh, that's 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 uh, that uh, you described it as feeling kind of fun, uh, and uh, and in the paper there are some different ways how we can sort of describe fun. You know, the, the it's just eight different types, but mm -hmm. uh, even in the paper it states it isn't meant to be a comprehensive list. It isn't meant to be a list that's just exhausting every single uh, uh, kind of fun uh, out there. It's just there to show that there are a lot of different kinds of fun. Uh, when you where, where you play a game, like exploring things, or you know, inhabiting a role, uh, or overcoming a challenge, or just you know, um, passing time in a you know in in in, uh, in a way that al alleviates boredom. Um, sorry, I have a bit of cold, so my my speech is a little bit uh, stunted today. Um, there is. There are a number of game mechanics in here that generate some of these sensations. Um, I'm going to put aside the stuff about confusion and lack of, of influence right now, because uh, some of that's addressed in the tutorial. It's like if you if if you went through the tutorial and explained to you what all the actions were, you probably wouldn't feel quite so confused about what you could do. However, I think it's reasonable to sort of address the lack of control that you might feel even after knowing what you could do, right? Uh, so let's talk about, but the, sorry, these are the things that the paper will describe as aesthetics, the thing that the player feels. Whether the, uh, the, the paper describes them as desirable uh, 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 experiences, that's not necessarily always the case. It's not always desirable, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure Confusion was not a desire. Was was not a desired uh, 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 experience that the designer of this game wanted you to have. By the way, one of the designers of uh, that game is actually also one of the writers of this paper, which is why we're playing this game in particular. Um, so, if these are aesthetics, let's talk about some of the mechanics in the game. Actually, can you shut off the, the screen and bring it up? Thanks. So, let's talk about some of the mechanics in this game. Well, someone describe it. Describe. Okay. 
right, so turn based. The, the game waits for you until you make a decision. It's not real time. Is it not real time? It waits. Huh? It waits. It Except waits. For in the barbarian, right? Don't you have like 10 <coughs> seconds or something to yes. organize all your troops? Except for that. Yeah, yeah well, so the countdown doesn't start to quickly push your troops, actually. The 10 seconds is actually, I noticed the line is still moving, but collect more. So uh, they do that over the course of the game. Yep, but like the countdown doesn't start until you send your troops. So okay, all right. So, so it's turn based until. You've this uh, until you've made your final move, right? And then there's ten seconds where it counts down. There's a, and you you see things continue to happen. Uh, okay, all right. There's combat. There's there's combat. There's a mechanic. There's there's some sort of uh, AI combat, right? Uh, you don't actually directly tell tell your troops to attack. You just place them ahead of time. And then they just wail at each other using some sort of algorithm, some sort of, of computation on how the numbers, uh, uh, how the uh, uh, attrition works. What else is in the game? Exploration. The exploration? Right. So, go ahead. Um, like, like that's how you like find where the cities are, how you like sort of like prepare for the attack. Okay, so, so how do you find cities? How do you find cities? You just have to walk on top of it. Okay, so so you 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 click on the purple squares, right? And then that shows you what's underneath the purple square, basically the fog. So so that's they've got a uh, sort of it's not fog of war exactly, but you know they they've got a sort of uh, un unexplored fog, right? Which you tap to to disappear. Is that the only clue about how to find a city? It's a question mark. Sometimes you get the, the question the hint, right? <laughs> that there's something there. There's like lush terrain around cities usually. Yeah, farms actually. Don't, don't, yeah. Don't, 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 don't. It's hard to tell on the on, on, on the screen, but on the iPad, uh, the, the 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 farms are all next to cities. So if you step on something green, you realize, <coughs> wait a minute, there's a city somewhere nearby. It's kind of minesweeper esque in that sense. What else? Same with the oasis. Uh, the o wait, what was that? Oasis. Okay, so what what about the oasis? I you mean, you're also steps? looking for it, and uh, as soon as you hit one of the squares of the oasis, you can more or less like figure out where the other ones are. Okay, because because it's, it seems to always be in the same three by four. Rectangle. Yeah. So, oh, so the oasis. Well, the terrain shows is, you, right? Like you, you see like a corner of the the river, then you know to explore this way and then that way, right? Yeah. Well, the oasis is always a rectangle of some right. sort. So if you find a corner, yeah, you know, you know that if you follow those things, then or you, you, see, you can see the tip. As well, like you know, right. that it's like it's you know grass on this side, water on this side, so explore this side. Right. So, so, so if the grid was like that, you know, once the moment you find one corner, you know which way to explore after the <laughs> that. So the oasis gives you clues. Uh, uh, the tiles of the oasis alone give you clues. In the same way that the farms give you clues about the cities. Yeah. So the, the the one of the mechanics is resource allocation. Okay. Because we were trying to decide whether or not to, uh, we should do technology or build roads or uh, allocate them into the cities to defend or whatever. How do you allocate resources in this game? You just tap it, I guess. You just tap it, and what happens when you tap? Um, certain actions that influence the game, but aka you invest followers in the mines, so then you want to the game, then technology progresses quickly. So you, you have a limited number of followers, mm -hmm. and tapping assigns them to, spends them, basically, yeah. to get to, to for, for some, sort of, some sort of task. So 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 limited uh, followers. Uh, I should have started further to to uh, to the left. Uh, tapping assigns assigns the followers. Okay. Other ones. Scoring at the end, uh, which is a, a summary in some sense. Uh, 
Okay. It seems to be different enough from what actually, like, when, when you end a level, you get a feeling of, like, did you do well or did you do not well? And then, like, didn't always correspond with the score? Like, right. The score isn't necessary. So, the score is, the, the score has is kind of different. Um, from what you, from, 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 from what the game's immediately giving you feedback on. The score is kind of like a completely different kind of feedback. I actually disagree that the score was like that. Huh? Um, so I was very confused when like, we won the first level because everyone died. But <laughs> well, we got a score of zero, which kind of made sense there. And then like when I went, a bunch of people died I still passed level, and like that made sense because I had two cities left, and I still got scored zero because I lost tons of people. Then when we made it so we didn't lose a single city, we got like a score of a thousand or something. Except we didn't lose a single city and we had a lot of people. So I know, the, I know the score made sense. Maybe the level progression didn't at first. Sense. Nathan lost some cities and still got a score of like a thousand or so. Yeah, we lost less than we had. But you, you lost, you lost, you didn't get any points because you didn't discover the place. I also didn't score the Oasis. Yeah. There you go. See, See the score makes sense. sense. Also, yeah. I was going to say, he said that the score is possibly cumulative over all phases done. And the score for the foreground looked to be equivalent to the third to me, 1,530, if I remember correctly. Yeah, but they've got those four sent through now. Yeah. But yeah. they don't have to score the levels for them. Oh, okay. Then that's good. Okay. I'm just saying. There was another mechanic. Uh, we didn't really get to discover it, but it was the, like, glowing O, A, S, I, S. Right, right, right. Right. Clearly leading to something <laughs> we haven't figured out yet. What does this do? Okay. There was that special follower that we got that kind of like buffed us. Okay. Yeah, yeah. The the, the I think they call them experts or advisors or something. Like that. And she, what was the advance? The, the advantage gave us extra followers per turn. At per turn or it was twenty. 20 the no, plus twenty for the beginning of the game. Yeah. So she, she started you with more. All right. Yep. Um, there's a glyph thing. Every level that we that we like, so let's say we were getting a glyph. Okay. Um, we have two of them along the side. It's like sort of the same, along the same lines as the Oasis thing. thing. It's unclear what they did. Okay. Well, it said that in one of the pillars, you get all twelve glyphs, you win the game. Okay. So so, so that's, that's some sort of glyphs equals win, win. Like you know. know. Exactly how do you win this game, right? Yeah. Yeah. There were also like these little blue orbs that. We got transported into the artwork. Right. And I have no idea what that does. No okay, so when where did those blue orbs are, uh, appear? Did anyone notice? When you were uncovering the tiles, I want to say? Well, when you searched, if you didn't get one of those technologies on top, you usually got a blue orb go up. Otherwise, I do not know when you got blue orbs. Blue he got a lot of blue orbs. The Oasis. When you pick up the Oasis, when you walk over the Oasis, you get blue orbs. So the Oasis also gives you blue. <laughs> Uh, which, is, which makes sense, it's like the bluest thing on the screen, and then when you click on it, blue things move. Um, so there's some sort of like color coordination thing. Barbarians, so steal. Huh? Barbarians steal your blue. <laughs> oh, I, I know where this beam is going. <laughs> oh, I was thinking that the blue is... And like, no, I mean the last line of the... Oh, yes, yes, blue, So okay. the one time we, they got, got to the Oasis, something happened where everyone... All the blue went yeah. to the barbarians. Looked like it was like a last line of defense. Yeah, no, that. So either the barbarians are taking away your blue, or you're using your blue to smite the barbarians. Either way, you end up with no barbarians and no and less blue. <laughs> right. <laughs> 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 Excuse me. So, do you think like if that happened, we got down to zero blue, we would like lose the game? Yeah. That's, uh, that, that was my guess. I feel like it's actually some way to lose and we couldn't figure out how. We made that all the time. So <laughs> yeah. 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 Minutes. You were level 4 on like uh, 15, uh, uh, 19, like, I think. Yeah. I can tell you one one of the, uh, the, the things that this particular game designer has told me is that he doesn't believe in game balance. He just believes in making a game start so ridiculously easy and end at almost an impossible level. So somewhere along the way you meet the level that you're good at, and that's a balanced game. So, <laughs> um, <laughs> that's that's one way of looking at it. Um, so so we, we've identified a bunch of game mechanics. We didn't go into things like roads and technologies and mines and stuff like that. There's a ton of game mechanics in here. These are the kinds of things that a game designer can design, right? These are rules. Uh, you know, things as simple as 
the oasis is always in a rectangle. There's no reason for that. You know, it could have been a river. But yeah, but you're right. There is actually a rule in, in, in again, every time you find an oasis, it's always going to be <coughs> in a rectangular shape. Um, these are the things that 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 a, a designer designs, and then you get dynamics well, out of a bunch of these mechanics interacting with each other. So I'm going to give one example of a dynamic. <coughs> one of the dynamics is that as you reveal information about the stuff that's underneath the fog, you start having more decisions to make. Like, well, what's your next step going to be? Because you could click on the thing that you just discovered. Like, if you find a, 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 a city, one of the things that, that people were shouting, like, search it right now, right? Um, but then you can also find you know, a mine, and you could assign followers into it. You could build a road. And some people, I think, might have noticed what, what roads did. And then people start noticing what, what, what roads yeah, did. They gave you one people yeah. One of the pop ups that. Your cities start actually growing in number once you connect them up with roads. Um, and of course that helps with defense in, in the long run. So, so one, of the, one of the dynamics in this game is that the further that you play in a level, the more, the more kinds of decisions you get to make. At the beginning of the game, you get to make no decisions besides which one of these next two squares am I going to start searching, right? Up or left. You know, uh, I think you always start in, in one of the corners, so there's only two directions that you can possibly search. Uh, what are the dynamics are there? These are things that arise out of a combination of these mechanics. Um, would one be like you kind of like pre-perform a set of actions, like your exploration, your searching, and whatever, and then after that you just kind of let it go and let the <coughs> barbarians come and do their their bidding? Okay, so one of the things is you you set up initial conditions for hopefully things to work out, uh, for, 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 for sort of the, 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 the systems to, to emerge in, in the behavior, right? In the long-term behavior. Okay. What else? That's, that's definitely dynamic in this game. The, the stuff that you set up even before all your turns are over. Like if you set a people in a mine, the miners just keep digging each turn. Uh, you know, it's like you don't have to babysit them. They'll, they'll, they'll keep digging. And they'll find stuff, you know, without you telling them to do anything. What else? What 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 else fits this kind of description of a uh, something that arises, still kind of mechanically uh, out of all uh, out of a combination of all of these mechanics? Let's take combat, for instance, when the the you know, red forces and your blue forces start you know, like little ants start facing off against each other. What happens? It's like really snowballing. Like really snowballing. Right. Like it would like start off like kind of even or so and then like all of a sudden one force would just like take a nosedive. Like uh -huh, uh -huh. at one point like the two forces were even and then one got to like 90 and one just started dropping and dropping and this one like stayed at 90. Right. Um, and you can see that too with like the really small cities that have like 20 people or something which get like squashed. It's squashed, right? You know, okay, so, so, it has this in, um, interesting curve on like a successful defense, like the barbarians are usually here, and the followers, you know, are usually on a slightly lower number because there's a huge number of barbarians that show up all we of a sudden. Huh? We get technology. Yeah, but <laughs> but often what happens is that you've got a number like that, and it kind of goes like like that. Right, you know, it starts off kind of like a, you know, the barbarians still maintain their numbers and all of a sudden just collapses. This is what a successful defense in that game look, looks like. But you can also flip it, or uh, not necessarily flip it, but the, the followers can also take that kind of curve. Oh, yeah. Except just below the barbarians. Oh, yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's, that will be what an unsuccessful defense looks like. Yeah, <laughs> <coughs> yeah I mean, that, that will look more like, like, like that, and then it's like, ugh, <laughs> right? There's usually more barbarians than there are uh, people. Uh, so yeah. this is all arising out of the game mechanics, right? This is you know, this is not a this is not an aesthetic experience all by itself. This is just how the numbers, if you plot it by a uh, 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 fraction of a second by fraction of a second, you get a graph like this. This is just the algorithm doing its thing. All right, what is what did this kind of aesthetic? I'm going to go go back to like 
a successful defense. So this arises out of the mechanics of the game. You know, everything that you know in the game to like get felt get followers into a city, give them technologies, mine stuff, you know, search cities, you know, make sure there are enough followers by connecting the cities up with roads. The other thing that roads allow you to do is redistribute followers b between cities that have been connected. Uh, that's the thing that you get to do in those last 10 seconds, is that you don't just assign everybody that you've got. You can say, all the people go into this one city. You can actually do that if you connect them up with roads. Um, you have 10 seconds to do that. <laughs> um, so everything leads up to how many followers you've got in the city that the barbarians about that the barbarians are going to attack, right? You know, this is going to, this interaction that keeps going on until all the barbarians are uh, destroyed. And then you get this curve. And what sort of aesthetic does it generate? But what what does the player hopefully experience because of that? You like cheer for your forces. Yeah. And then you like feel disappointed when things start going bad. And you, you kind of feel for them. Yeah. And then, and then when they pull out of it, because you know, it's like, yeah, it's like, like at, at this point, it says, oh no, we're both kind of in the same trajectory. Yeah, sure, they're dropping, but we're dropping too, and things aren't going to go out so well. And all of a sudden, your your folks come through, right? You know, and and, and we were cheering. We were we 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 were shouting our heads up as if our cheers had any influence on the outcome of the battle. Um, I'm not quite sure what to this, how to describe that aesthetic, but that's the player's. That's what the player takes away from this game, right? That this tiny little moment of the game is actually very finely tuned to generate exactly that experience. Of the, you're not quite sure what the outcome of this battle is going to be, unless you played the game like for hours and hours and hours, and then you can kind of predict what's going to happen the moment the battle starts because you already know what each technology actually does. But at this point in time, when you're still learning the game, you don't know what each technology does, you don't know how the battles are going to turn out, it gets really, really exciting. So maybe there's a kind of like, the, um, the, um, what Mark LeBlanc, uh, the designer of this game, described it was dramatic tension. I'm not quite sure if he's using that term like uh, exactly the way how it will be used in literary convention, but, that, but it, is feel, it does feel tense, because you, there's, this out, there's this uncertain outcome about who's going to come out. Uh, uh, a hit, and then when it resolves in your favor, you feel great. Um, that's basically one dissection using the MDA framework that we just went through. There's a whole bunch of mechanics. You create a dynamic that creates this aesthetic experience, which is the thing that you want your players to have. In this particular case, this was explicitly what Marc LeBlanc wanted his players to experience. He wanted them to cheer for the followers, even though that has no impact on the final result of the fight. Um, so when you look at your games, um, I want you to be asking your playtesters what they're feeling about the game. You know, usually after they're done, you know, it's like how do you feel about that? Uh, um, you know, what did you like about the game? What didn't you like about the game? Both both are aesthetic experiences that come out from the play of the game. This is much easier to do with people who are actually not in this class, because you're all thinking about the games from the rules level. If you go to somebody who plays games but doesn't really make games, or isn't in the process of learning about how to make games, uh, it's a lot easier for them to just think about, well, I kind of felt crappy because I didn't feel there was any way for me to come back in this game. You know? Or, yeah, I felt like you know, I was rofl stomping everybody. Rofl stomp is an aesthetic. You know? uh, uh, those, those those are things that you can sort of take you can sort of take as a game designer to give you clues on whether your game is doing what you want it to do from the mechanics that you're designing whether the game is not doing what you want it to do because maybe the mechanics are interacting in a way that creates a dynamic that you didn't want um, or maybe the game is doing not what you want it to do and it's actually pretty cool um, there's always the accidental discovery of your mechanics doing something that you didn't quite expect. You know, maybe uh, you expected something to be kind of like, like cool and strategic and detached, but then your players end up feeling very, really tense and, 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 and feeling that everything's on the line and everything could go wrong at, every mo at any moment that they like that. Then they say, oh, okay, all right, you know, that's, that's something you can work with. But you may not necessarily understand that's what your game is doing if you're not asking your players 
what's the sensation that they're getting out of the game purely from the rules. When you're working with your prototypes in particular, it's very easy for them uh, for you to make this connection back to your mechanics because they can't be um, experiencing terribly much from your artwork or from your sound effects, right? You know, unless you're making sound effects with your mouth or something, and you know, probably it sounds pretty goofy. Um, but uh, you know, they can only really sort of get an aesthetic experience out of your rules. <coughs> Now, obviously, this is not the only way that you can convey an aesthetic experience. That you can do things through art, sound, storytelling, characters, plot, and everything. We'll go into that a little bit more um, before assignment two, because you're going to be exploring that with assignment two. But this is one particular kind of aesthetic that, uh, which, which I um, will refer to in, the in this class as system aesthetics. The aesthetics that come out from the system of all of your mechanics working together. Um, and in this project, this first assignment, you don't have to worry about hitting the desired aesthetic. You don't really have to. That's not the goal of this project. I want you to figure out everything that your game mechanic can do. And by the way, there was a question be, uh, at the beginning of class. What if we wanted to change that mechanic because you discovered something along the way? That's fine, but whatever you change it to, make sure that you're going deep into that thing. Make sure that you're not just like running with what you stumbled with and then not developing it any further. Try to really, really explore uh, uh, what, uh, what you've, you eventually will declare that you're looking at. Um, the reason for that is that I want you all to have like, the experience of going really deep into mechanics and figuring out all the different things that one mechanic can do so that later on when you all mix and match and form up into assignment two and assignment three teams, you've got like a pool of knowledge and more importantly, a pool of experience and sort of exploring what a mechanic can do so that you can take on new mechanics, you can share information with each other and use that later to generate interesting aesthetic experiences. Because in the end, this is what the players are here for. They don't care about the amount of work that you put into here. They only care about whether the game makes them feel the way that they want to feel right now for, uh, while they're playing your game. So, any questions? Well, we'll probably go a little bit more into things about mechanics uh, later this, uh, uh, this month. But right now, the rest of the class is actually time for you to work as a team. Some of you probably ha um, haven't seen each other since Wednesday and may not necessarily even have talked to each other. So that's fine. Take time now. If you've, if you've got something that you need tested, uh, you have two options. One, you can grab Rick and I. Or two, you can, rig, uh, uh, sorry, you can grab other people in the classroom uh, who may not necessarily have played your game. I would suggest asking people who haven't played your game before for, uh, to test. But tomorrow is actually the formal play test. So what you absolutely have to have by the end of this class, or, ra or, ra or rather what, what you have to have by the beginning of tomorrow, to, uh, tomorrow's class, is something that can be play tested in class. So today there's no required play test. Tomorrow there is. All right. And there's also reading for tomorrow, but it's uh, not that bad either. I think it's gone normally. Uh, 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 okay, let me just make sure of that. Oh no, it's David Parlin. Yeah, it's, go it's going to be just looking at one thing, which is the randomizing and the, f and the function of dice in games. So, okay, work in your teams, and all the materials are here, we'll put it on, on the table. Content from the following sources is copyright of the respective holders, all rights reserved, excluded from our Creative Commons license. For more information see ocw.mit.edu slash fair use. Oasis. Play First. 2005. Video Game.